resolution, hints and tips. Material editing made easy. Texture editing with Photoshop. Methods for remapping iClone content, textures, and effects. Open iClone and select a character that you wish to edit. Go to Avatar, Character, Template or Custom, and double click. We are now ready to move on to step number two. In step number two, go to Upper Body, Modify, then select Launch under the Map Setting field in the Diffuse section. This will activate your Material Editor. You're now ready to move on to step number three. We will be using the Clone Snap tool to get rid of our existing numbers on our jersey. Simply use hotkey S to activate your Clone Snap tool. And then once you decide what portion of the image you would prefer to sample from, hover over that area holding the ALT key down and then while pressing it simply left click to define your area then let go of the ALT key and then click and move to begin to stamp out your players numbers This can be a long process depending on the amount of time you wish to take. In step number four, use hotkey T to activate your text tool in Photoshop. Then click inside your file window in the area where you wish to place your text. Type in the numbers you wish for your new player. Use hotkey control plus T to transform your text to the proper size. In your layer palette, click on your new text layer and then drag it down to create a new layer by dragging it to the create a new layer icon. Do this twice. Then transform and move your new text layers to fit the area on the jersey sleeve. You will need to do this in two different ways. First go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. This will reverse your text. In step number five, add effects to your text layer such as strokes and drop shadows by clicking on the layer style icon from the bottom left of your layer palette. After clicking on the icon, scroll down to your desired effect. Once added, you can copy and paste a layer style from one text layer to another.
We're now ready to move on to step number six. In step number six, right click on the layer that you wish to copy your layer style from and then select copy layer style from the menu. Then right click on the layer you wish to copy your layer style to and select paste layer style from the menu. This will copy both your drop shadow and your stroke settings to other text layers. Do this for both. In step number seven, use hotkey U to activate your custom shape tool to place a solid shape over the edited background image and under the text layers in the layer palette. Your foreground color will decide your shape's color, which of course can be changed. Also, the layer's blend mode is editable as well and that is what we will use to quickly change the editable template layer you've now created. Using hotkey shift plus plus or minus while your layer is selected we will scroll through your blending modes. Use color for this example. In step number 8, save your file in two different formats, JPEG and PSD formats so you can use your PSD for a template to create other players' uniform colors, JPEG for importation into iClone as your new diffuse map. Create a file called Uppers or JPEG Textures to save your edited JPEG images into for easy retrieval. Be sure to rename your file to Football Template. So long as the file name is changed, use whatever name you like. In step number 9, return to iClone to import and apply your new upper texture. While still inside the upper body, modify selection panel, locate the file icon located to the top right of the map settings portions of the menu. Click on it to navigate to your file. Now that you've successfully edited your upper texture, you have acquired the basic process knowledge of material editing. This method can be applied to all aspects of content from character sections to props and accessories.